Yo, what up? Welcome back to the video, guys. Today we're going to be talking about everything that I got planned for my 1983 FXR project. Alright, so there's quite a few things that I want to do to this bike. I didn't want to go and transform it into something that it's not or just was it intended to be? I really wanted to keep that classic Harley Davidson FXR aspect of it. I just want to, I, I wanted a time capsule. I wanted something fresh out of the 80s, just with a little twist of modern-ish here and there. But as far as the uh, all the aesthetics go and just the classic look of it, I, I, I wanted to keep that classic 80s look to it. Now, you guys already know that I went ahead and I changed out that horrible seat that I had on it before. So we'll, we'll have that up for some wall decor later on. So I went ahead and I got this amazing custom made La Para Daytona seat for this bike. It's, I absolutely love it. I really love the way it came out. The way it just fits the bike, the lines, the, the two-tone colors and the different type of materials on it. A1. So huge shout out to La Para for that. Now the next big thing that we obviously want to look that's it, it's kind of like an eyesore when you look at this bike is those Vance and Hines short shots. And not to throw any shade at Vance and Hines because they make a great product, but those black short shots on this bike do it no justice. It just it kind of takes away from the bike. Um, it, yeah, it, it looks really bad. That on um, Sportster, forget about it. it it'll, it'll look good. But what I want to go ahead and do is get a chromed out Thunder header. It's, it's only right. So, chromed out on the headers, what we're gonna get on that. Um, it's gonna clean up the bike good. It's gonna give it a bit more performance, a two and a one, longer pipe. It's just the sound. Thunder headers just have that, 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 that beautiful sound to them, man. So that's gonna be the next big purchase for it. Now, making a way to the back, I kinda wanna clean up that rear fender. It has those crazy looking lights. So I kinda wanna just clean everything up, just minimize everything and just put one light right there with the turn signals indicated in them as well just clean everything up is going to make the bike look really nice and um we'll, we'll, we'll get something modern we're good you know we'll go ahead and put some led lighting on there when it comes to lights i you know leds is what you should have honestly now another big mod that i want to add to the bike is bags so i had and i still have three choices i still haven't decided which bags to go with so hopefully you guys could help me drop your thoughts in your comments down below let me know what you think will look really good. Um, being that we got the FXRP fairing on this bike, I kind of wanted to just keep it uh, to that type of look. So I kind of wanted the FXRP hard bags on the bike with the chromed out bars that kind of wrap around them and just leave them black. I thought about doing that. I also thought about getting some clamshell bags and just color match them to the bike. So just two toned them, black and white with some of that gold pinstriping that's on there right now. I think that will look sick and it'll make the bike stand out a lot more. And then my third option would be to go with some Leather Pros because they would just look amazing on this bike. They pack up a lot of stuff. They're great product as well. And it'll I think it'll make the bike look really, really nice. These FXRs, they're, they're really, really narrow in the back. And you know, when you have the, the FXR P fairing on, it just makes the bike look really bulky in the front and the back. Just, you know, it just, I don't know. Um, a, I want bags just to put my stuff in it, and two, just to give it a nicer look in the back. Um, just it, it'll it'll complement the whole bike as well. Now my T bar setup on there is from West Coast Choppers. Um, I like them; they're all right. Um, I don't know. I, I might change them out. I, I might swap everything out and just do a nice thrashing setup, nice and clean, chrome, uh, all chromed out, obviously, uh, chrome riser, chrome bar, um, and then we can go ahead and change out those grips. Cause I, don't like those grips too much either. And I just want to go ahead and put some regular BMX uh, type style of grips just to make it look cool and they're cheap as well. Um, so I thought about doing that. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I want to do it yet. Most likely yes, but that's going to be towards the springtime if I do decide on doing that. Um, while I'm up there, we're also going to change out the levers, get some black out shorty levers. I think it's going to, I mean, me, I prefer shorty levers, uh, my low rider S. 
I really like the way they feel. On this bike, I kind of want the same feel as well. So if we go ahead and we change out the whole bar setup, I'm going to change out the levers, grips, like I said, the bar and the risers, just to clean everything up in there and just make the bike look really, really nice. Now, I did have a pretty wild idea. So as you can see here, we got the both pods and then we got the big light in the middle. I actually thought, and I'm not going to do it, but I, I thought about just doing smoking out the lenses or just getting some smoked out pods um, and put in Baja lights in them, amber, and then throwing a Baja light in the middle, smoke out the whole lens in the front as well. So everything in the front would have been all smoked out, two amber Bajas and one white Baja light in the middle. Um, I kind of, I don't know, I feel, I feel like there's certain little things I want to do to it just to get it, you know, little things here and there just so it can be modern, but I kind of don't want to go ahead and change the whole essence of the bike because I think that will kind of take away from it. I think I, it'll look badass, but I don't know. What, what do you guys think? It's that That's still, that's still maybe. I kind of want to keep it as is, but um, it's, it's still maybe, so drop your thoughts down below. The wheels were keeping absolutely the way they are because uh, my buddy, before he sold me the bike, he had these powder coated gold and they, they look amazing. We're gonna keep it that way. They match the pinstriping and they look great. The crash bar might end up swapping out soon because it's still bent from my little accident. Um, it has a slight bend to it, so I might swap it out, get the same thing, but maybe in black, I'm not sure yet. The windshield that's on the bike right now is from Clearview Windshields. I really like this windshield. I prefer this windshield over anything else. Honestly, I think it looks cool. It does a job, keeps the wind off of you, and it um, has a classic retro look to it as well. Now, let's just hop into the whole engine component. So, like I've said before, and people still get surprised, even though I kind of mentioned it in every past FXR video that I've done, I mentioned it. This has an 88 twin cam in it, it's a swapped engine. Originally the bike came with a shovel head. I specifically, and I said this like a thousand times already, but I specifically wanted a twin cam in an FXR frame, that's what I wanted. So this bike right now, is, as it sits, it is a stage two. Um, I thought about maybe doing some more to it, maybe going to a stage three. Um, that's still, uh, I'm, I'm still like on the fence about that. Cause right now it, it, it does feel like it has really good power for what it is um it's an 88 twin cam and it, it, it it's, it's pretty peppy man like it, the power is there it feels great and um i don't know i i'm not sure if i want to just kind of you know i kind of want this bike just to cruise and chill if i want to be a hooligan i get my uh, on my low rider ass or do some crazy stuff on the road right here but I, I might just leave it that way. I'm not sure, like I'm still on the fence about it, but I don't know, what you guys think? And then we're gonna do some minor little cosmetic stuff here. We, we might change out the the fill pegs, maybe put some mini floorboards on there as well. Um, and just little accents here and there, change out the derby covers. It's, right now it's missing the timing cover, so I just wanna get something custom for that as well, maybe with my name on it. The gauges right now, I, I got the official FXRP gauges on top. I really like it. It's a classic look and it looks really cool. Um, they, they work okay. They don't like work 100% all the time. So I thought about maybe swapping the gauges out. I still want to keep the two uh, gauge look on it, but I, I thought about maybe swapping that out for uh, just another pair of gauges. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Now, when it comes to the suspension right now, what I have on there is Progressive. Um, I am thinking about swapping everything out. I have Progressive on the rear shocks and also on the front forks as well. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a whole change up and just dropping some Legends front and rear. The Progressives are okay, but I, I feel like Legends could probably be a bit much better. Um, and I, I wanna be able to to enjoy the ride a bit more in this bike. Now, I also went ahead and I did order the side covers from Arlen S, so those came in last week. Um, sending them over to JO Customs for them to get painted, so it's gonna be color matched, all white, birch white, with some nice gold pinstriping around the whole triangle, so that's gonna look sick. Little stuff like that, to me, is like, it's kinda what just puts the bike all together, little, little things here and there, and just throw it all in. When it comes to the cosmetics and everything else, I, honestly, that's kinda it, I don't, like I said, I don't want to transform this bike into something that it's now or something that it wasn't supposed to be. I kind of wanted to keep it to its its essence, that I want that retro 80s look. And um, that's pretty much it. 
I think I pretty much covered everything. If I miss anything, I'll, I'll let you guys know in the follow video or something. But let me know what you guys think about the mods, the few little mods that we're going to do on this bike coming up. If you guys agree, if you don't agree, or if you think of anything else that I could add on to it or any, any of the options, let me know. Drop your thoughts in comments. I'm really eager to, to hear what you guys got to think. Um, there's still a bunch of stuff. I'm actually taking the low rider ass back to the Tour Customs uh cycle shop tomorrow we're gonna put it on the dyno finally we're gonna give you guys some real dyno numbers so wait for that video that video should be up at the end of the week um and also another surprise that there's gonna be another video coming out maybe wednesday or so we're gonna be talking about a nice project that we're doing at the torque shop as well um new bike build it's uh, i don't want to spoil it right now but we'll we'll tell you about that so those are two videos uh, one lowrider S video, another kind of lowrider S T video. Who knows what it's gonna be, but that's coming this week. And then we're gonna be doing a video on the Road Glide by the time the weekend comes as well. So lowrider S and Road Glide content coming to you this week. So tune in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.